Hello, YouTube. This is my assignment video, so please read the description box for detailed information. Okay, I am going to review on storage devices, input devices, and output devices. Starting off with storage devices, I am going to talk about a flash drive and a hard drive. This is the Transcan 8GB flash drive. I bought it last year at PTC for $16 and I'm pretty sure you still can find it there. This flash drive has a secret zip function where you can put password to protect your files. And the design of it is very classy which I personally love. If you take a closer look at the flash, you can see that there's a pretty blue jewel on it. This flash drive is pretty small so I recommend you attach your flash to the handling string so you don't lose it easily. This is the Silicon Power Armor 50A hard drive which has a capacity of 750GB. I mainly use it to store movies and TV shows. It has a backup function to make sure that you don't lose any file in, in it. In terms of design, I think that it is as classy as the flash drive. Now I am going to talk about input devices. I chose this wireless keyboard and mouse to talk about. This is the ProLink Laser Wireless Keyboard. I got it for $32 at PTC and because this keyboard is wireless, I don't have to worry about going too far from my desk to do my work. The keyboard itself is very easy to use and it's been working well ever since I got it. This is a wireless mouse from Logic Touch, and again, it is very easy to use and the design is so cute. It was $25 when I bought it at PTC. The last thing for this video is about Apple devices. This is the HP All-in-One Office Jet 6500 printer, where you can scan, copy, fax, and of course print. It's very convenient to use. The buttons are labeled clearly so you don't even have to read the manual book to understand how to use it. This printer was about $300 and it is sold at PTC. This printer was designed for home and office uses so I don't recommend you if you want to print a lot of pages because the ink cartridges are pretty expensive. The black ink is about $35 and the color ink is about um, $16 each so if you want to buy it you have to think about the ink cartridges as well okay so the very very last thing that I am going to talk about is a TV this is the 32 inch Sony Bravia internet LED backlight TV it is very thin and the function of it are pretty cool like you can see here they have applications connected devices where you can connect to the HDMI port and they also have the settings uh, area where you can set the sound and um, the quality and display of the TV if you are connected to the internet and you have Wi-Fi at home you can easily access to the application like YouTube here you can just browse it like you a browser from your phone and your computer. It is around $1,200 and you can find it at K4. Now thank you so much for watching this video and you can leave your comment down below and I will make sure to read them and reply if I can. Thank you.